What is going on? Uh, just making a second follow-up video as I got a bunch of comments on the previous video uh, regarding me talking about FSR and DLSS. Uh, so I'll go into a bit more detail in this video uh, for much more detailed workarounds and the settings and whatnot that I'm using. Uh, so first of all, if you haven't updated your drivers, do so. I was a bit hesitant to update my drivers because of the fact that um, there were problems with this game with the latest driver. But if you update to the latest, which is version 576.02, if you have an NVIDIA card. Uh, I don't know what the case is for uh, AMD cards. Um, secondly, there is a mod that I'm going to put on screen just now, which is um, from the Nexus. What this mod will do is change various things with Unreal Engine 5 in the way that it renders this game. Unreal Engine 5 is extremely um, demanding. It's very, very uh, difficult to run. So this mod basically takes away some of the, the more intensive parts of Unreal that, that are being run. So let's go into the settings just now. Um, if I switch across, it always like takes a while to like load whenever I select the graphics tab for some reason. This is what I'm also recommending that you do. Turn VSync off, cap your FPS to 60 FPS. Um, I've tried just now because apparently the latest um, NVIDIA drivers have a problem with um, using upscaling. So I've actually tried without the upscaling, so no uh, DLSS or uh, anything like that, no FSR either. I just have anti-aliasing uh, set to TSR. And at the top here, I've set the resolution scale to 70. So I think it still looks pretty sharp. It does, it's not native resolution because the resolution scale is a little bit lower, but I'm getting about 60 FPS, which I think is really good. Um, what's weird about this game? Well, I suppose it's not weird. It makes sense, really. But if I'm in the interiors, this game runs like butter. So if I have the FPS uncapped, I'm running at 100 FPS. Um, <laughs> But in the open world, I was dropping to below like 50, which is crazy. Um, so more things to do. Um, this may vary for you if you have a weaker card or if you're still having problems, set these two a bit lower. But what I highly recommend is setting the shadow quality to medium or low because shadows are extremely intensive. Set global illumination quality to medium or low. Post-processing medium or low. I've got them on medium. Definitely have... Uh, ray tracing off. Unfortunately, you're not able to turn software ray tracing off. You're only able to set it to low. You cannot turn it off. Um, so try these settings without um, any um, upscaling at all. This is just, well, I say native resolution. It's got the, um, the resolution scale uh, is set to uh, 70. I'm running in borderless as well, so it's not full screen. So windowed borderless, I really like using that on most games. Yeah, as I said, VSync off. Um, highly recommend you turn screen space reflections off as well, because they're very intensive. If you need to change any of these to medium or low, do so. But usually these are okay at high. Maybe dip down the, uh, the, the view distance. View distance has been exactly the same for me personally, no matter which uh, setting I've selected. Also with the texture quality, it hasn't made any difference whatsoever for my performance um, running from low or high. I, I don't run anything on ultra because that's ludicrous for an RTX 3070. It's the GPU that I'm running. It would be stupid to run that with a uh, 3070, so I'm not running ultra. So this is what I'm using. So in conclusion, uh, try the mod that I have linked that is on the Nexus, the performance mod. Um, update your drivers, even though I know some people have had some issues with the drivers, but in combination with the other things I've shown you in this video, with the latest drivers, it's been absolutely fine for me. Download the latest drivers as of this video. It's version 576.02, which was released on April the 16th. Um, grab that. Put the settings to how I have them. Put view distance quality to lower if you want to, but it hasn't made much of a difference for me. Put texture quality lower if you want to, but again, hasn't made a difference for me. And I strongly suggest, especially if you're on a weaker GPU, to cap your FPS to 60. If 
in extreme circumstances cap your FPS to 30. Um, but all of this stuff that I've shown you, all of this in combination should completely eliminate stutter. It should also make you run at um, 60 FPS or just slightly below, because as you see here, I'm running at like 54, 56 kind of FPS. It's much, much, much smoother. And this isn't using any scaling whatsoever. Uh, I'd heard that on the Game Pass version of this game, I don't have the uh, Game Pass, this is on Steam, but on the Game Pass version of this game, I've heard that it's uh, what's happened is um, they've disabled upscaling currently for an, for an update because they're working on trying to sort it out. So uh, yeah, so upscaling was, was broken for some people as well in general. So yeah, try this out. Um, do let me know in the comments. Um, and again, final note I'll say on the, the previous video, it was in relation to, it was a very, very quick fix, um, quick and painless, easy fix, which was intended for people who don't have extremely powerful GPUs. Um, so I was just suggesting to people to enable FSR just so they can play the game a bit smoother. Getting attacked by a mud crab, fantastic. This knife does not do a lot of damage, this dagger rather. Um, yeah, it was most, the first video was mostly just in relation to chucking FSR on for people who have a much weaker GPU. A lot of people with 20 series, 30 series cards struggling to run this. Uh, but yeah, try everything from this video. Let me know how you get on in the comments. See ya.